Hey you guys, it's Megan and today I am so excited to share with you what is in my everyday makeup bag. And I have not used a makeup bag in years and sorry if you hear screaming, my mom and sister are talking about K-pop and they just get so excited. <laughs> but um, I have not used an everyday makeup bag in years. I like use that spinny organizer if you guys have watched me for a while. I use that for at least a year or a year and a half and um, recently I reorganized all of my makeup and I will link below my makeup collection and organization video so you can see everything but one of the things that I decided to do was to go back to using an everyday makeup bag and this is my favorite makeup bag of all time it is a completely clear makeup train case and what makes me so excited to do this video is that this bag like a version of it is finally available again like they have not carried this bag in years and this is from Ulta and I will link below the version that they have today but this is literally the best makeup bag ever because you can see everything like if you're looking for something in particular you can just find exactly where it is I love the top handle I love that it has two zippers so no matter like what side you're opening it on it like opens perfectly and it's only $14 you guys $14 so you have to get one it is amazing like if you like <laughs> makeup bags this is just the best makeup bag of all time and I have many many makeup bags and this is my favorite one it's just so simple easy and big like it holds a lot um so anyway i am just so excited that it's available again so i will link that down below in addition to everything that i keep in my makeup bag i love using a makeup bag one because it's easy like pretty much everything that i use from day to day is in here and then i can supplement with the rest of my makeup collection so i don't keep much eyeshadow in my everyday makeup bag so i can like pick out a different eyeshadow product every day and today i love my overall makeup but i really really love my eyeshadow and i'm using the dior soft cashmere palette which is definitely my number one dior palette um it's just stunning so i'm using this and then the lid color is the danessa myricks milky way color fix pigment and it is just so shiny and beautiful and i just love these tones together so i picked those out of my makeup collection but literally everything else that I have on my face is in this bag so this helps me not only just be able to grab this do my makeup really fast or as leisurely as I want to it also helps me work through products so since I have like my foundation in here concealer blush bronzer like lip products even it just helps me use things up without necessarily doing a project pan so let's just dive in to this so i'm going to start with my face makeup and i kind of have it organized in like quadrants so i have all of my like face makeup over here like my primer and foundation concealer and then i have my like blush and bronzer lip products and then in this bag which we will go over um i love having like little separating bags in here and this has all my eye products i have two primers in here actually three because i have one under eye um like cream slash primer so this is the bobby brown vitamin enriched eye base this is a must-have you guys especially if you are older than like 25 that is when you start to see a little more aging in your skin at least that's when i started seeing it so a little bit goes such a long way with this and think of this as your under eye primer and that sounds like why on earth would i take the extra step to prep my under eyes when i'm like doing primer all over my face anyhow this is very moisturizing so it helps your under eyes not look dry and creepy but it's not so moisturizing that it will make your um, 
mascara like run because some under eye like eye creams are just too emollient or and even some under eye concealers that it makes my mascara like transfer this has never done that but whenever I don't use this I always notice that my under eyes don't look as good so if you have aging skin which is basically everyone um this is a must-have and it will last you forever like years I bet okay so then for the rest of my face I have two primers right now I'm really trying to work on using up the Laneige glowy makeup serum so I thing that this name is kind of confusing I think of this as just a makeup primer like having it say makeup serum makes maybe some people think you use it as like a serum step but I do all my normal daytime skincare put on my SPF and then I go in with this and this has like a dropper and it's like a thick gel so I really like this for adding a little bit of hydration but it's very thin like it's not very moisturizing it's not oily but it just kind of like fills in any like trouble areas that you might have with pores but it's not really silicone-y just kind of feels like water actually and then you just let that sink in for a little bit I do my like eye makeup first so I let that sink into my skin and then when I'm ready to do my face makeup it's like already set down and it doesn't really get super tacky but there is a little bit of a grip to it so it's just a nice like basic face primer I like it but I'm not obsessed with it so I'm just trying to use that up and then I recently was sent this Rare Beauty um, pore diffusing primer so I really love the packaging of this it's super simple and it just has a pump and so this one I'll do it on the other hand is more of like a actual like gel cream and I was worried this would be really silicone-y and there is a nice like glide to it but it's not like the Smashbox silicone primer anything like that it actually feels more like a cream which is really nice and I honestly haven't even tested this on my face yet but it feels really really good not super greasy not super silicone-y but it definitely is a silicone primer um and so this gives you more of like a smooth base so if your concern is more with texture on your skin and kind of filling in that texture before you go in with foundation this could be a really good option for you like I said I haven't tried it yet and sometimes these types of primers make my makeup slip off my face but what I like about my everyday makeup bag is that I put things like this in it to remind me to test them out so that's why that's in there okay so then I have my concealers so I am almost done with this concealer I don't know how well you can see through it but I just have a little itty bitty bit left and this is one of my all-time favorite concealers it's the L'Oreal age perfect radiant concealer and if you like the NARS radiant creamy concealer this is an amazing drugstore alternative and it's just great so I use the shade 200 ivory and it's not super light and I think this is the lightest shade but it works really nicely for my under eyes which is where I use concealer it's not super like dewy even though it's called radiant it's just not matte so I love this and I almost have used that up and then the Tarte Ultra Creamy Shape Tape so I haven't had good luck with Tarte Shape Tape the color like matching a color is really difficult because it actually has really really light shades so the shade I use is Fair Light Neutral 16N originally I tried like a fair shade and it was like ghostly white like even on my skin it was like ghostly so I finally discovered a shade that works for me but it still is brightening so usually I do that L'Oreal concealer all over and then just right under my eyes I will do a teeny teeny dab of this be and it's kind of annoying because this applicator is huge and it gets really messy I don't know if it's just me but um 
I just try to do as teeny of a dab as possible and then just concentrate it right in like the innermost part of my eye to brighten that up. So I really like this concealer and I haven't had any like trouble with it like I did with the original Shape Tape. Then for foundation, I'm working on using up this uh, Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Normal to Oily Skin Foundation in 112 Natural Ivory. So this is slightly too deep for me, as most foundations are. So this is like the number one product every single pale person needs. This is the LA Girl Pro Color Foundation Mixing Pigment in White. It is a pure white foundation mixing product. And there are other colors too to make your foundation like match you better for your undertone. They have orange. I think they even have a deepening shade. So this is amazing for a drugstore product. It is a glass bottle and it has a pump, which not even every high-end foundation comes with a pump, but this is super nice. Just a little, little bit does the trick. And what I do, because this is just a opening, I pour some on the back of my hand and then do a pump of the white foundation and then just apply it on my skin. So uh, these are my current like foundation combination. I do really like the Maybelline uh, Matte and Poreless. It's not my like all-time favorite foundation, but I like it enough that I've been wearing it every day and I'm just trying to use that up. Then for powder, I have two powders right now. One is a setting powder and one is a finishing powder. So my setting powder is the Laura Mercier just says translucent. I think it's just the translucent setting powder. This is like a itty bitty sample size and honestly I love getting these because it's like free like powder but the size is too small to really get my brush in there so normally I have like another powder lid that I just like put this in and then I can really swirl my brush in it but I have a few of these little minis that I'm just working through so I have been using that and then after all of my makeup is done I go in with my Guerlain Meteorites and I have the shade 2 Claire Light and so these are literally little little pearls or dipping dots as one of you guys said um, and I love these as my like finishing buffing out my makeup powder so I I use the Laura Mercier basically to like set under my eyes, set my foundation, and then I go in with like blush, bronzer, highlighter, and then at the end of all that I buff out my entire face with the meteorites and it just gives your skin like a really nice airbrushed effect, blends everything to perfection, and I just love this stuff. So. I have both of those powders in there. Speaking of blush, bronzer, and highlight, I have some of my favorite products in here. For highlighter, this, I'm so excited about. Look how much I've used up of this. This is my NARS Capri highlighter. This is probably my favorite highlighter of all time. It is the perfect color for me. It never looks thin thick on my skin like some highlighters like I've tried Natasha Denona and this has happened when I put the highlighter on my skin it just looks like thick this always just looks perfect it's the perfect tone for my skin they do have a lot of different shades of this and I just think the formula is incredible and I will be using this up within the next few months. So NARS Capri is amazing. I also have my NARS Mini Laguna Bronzing Powder. So I, I don't know if you guys can really see, but this side is like super thin. So I'm gonna hit pan on this very, very soon. But this is my like everyday bronzer and it looks really dark for my skin, but if you just really buff it out, it looks great. And I've just kind of been liking the more contoured bronzer look. I feel like when you look straight on, it looks really good, but then sometimes when you look on the side, it might look a little harsh, but I don't know. I've just been liking it, so I've been using that. And then for blush, I really love this Clinique Heather Pop blush as an everyday blush color. It's just 
really perfect for the my skin tone the formula is gorgeous and I just love it so I do reach for other blushes like every so often but this has been my everyday blush lately and then I have two cream products that I also like to incorporate so I have the tower 28 bronzino in west coast and so this is a cream bronzer and i added this at the end of my makeup so i think that's why it looks even more like dark and bronze but this is just a stunning cream bronzer and you can really really sheer it out um and it just looks gorgeous it has a stunning glow to it and i just really really love that product so i've been using that a lot and whenever i want my highlighter to be like popping and just amazing i use the charlotte tilbury hollywood light wand in spotlight and i hate this applicator this little sponge tip but the product itself is amazing and i'm dying to get more colors but they're like all sold out so um this one in spotlight is just the perfect highlighter for fair skin and the formula is just insane it doesn't look like makeup it just looks like your skin is glowing and both of these products just look so beautiful on the skin so i love those so much then to finish off my face i use the charlotte tilbury airbrush <laughs> i can never say this without getting my tongue tied airbrush flawless setting spray and so this is the full size i used up a full like deluxe size of this and i recently got the full size and i just love this setting spray i feel like it has kind of like a pore filling or like filtering effect to your skin and i just think that this makes my makeup look better last longer i just love it so that is like my last step for my face makeup for eye products i have my little baggie but i also have one eyeshadow palette and this is a really bougie palette but it's like the perfect everyday palette so this is the tom ford mink mirage this basically has like all the basic colors I would need in addition to another palette so it's all matte as a matte cream a matte like neutral crease color a dark brown and a black it's pretty perfect and it's not too big so I like to keep this in my everyday makeup bag because usually I need one of these colors even if I'm using a different palette so um, this is probably the most useful Tom Ford palette that I bought um, it's not my favorite just because it's just very utilitarian but it's the one that I probably get the most use out of so I keep that in there mostly to get my money's worth out of it and then in this little fresh um, makeup bag I have the rest of my like everyday eye products so I have my brow routine in here so right now I'm working on the benefit goof proof brow pencil in 3.5 and so it has a spoolie on one end and then a angled like brow pencil and I only have this much left you guys but these literally last like a year or something for me it's wild and then I have a new brow product that I've been testing out this is the Kosas I don't even know okay air brow um, like tinted brow gel and I got the shade Auburn and this is the perfect shade for me because I like to have my brows like warmer toned and I don't know if you'll be able to see like the wand is a little bit different than other like brow gel wands that I've used it's more of like a triangular type of idea so I feel like it just really fills it in nicely it doesn't apply too much product it does feel very like airy and just like light on my brows so I love it love the color and then I also have the Benefit 24 Hour Brow Setter, which is a clear brow gel. I think this is so awesome if you want to try like that laminated brow trend where you just like really like brush up your brow hairs so they like kind of are standing up. This does an amazing job at that and it's just a super strong like clear brow gel so I would really recommend that. I also have my Milani eyeshadow primer 
This is one of my must-have makeup products because my eyeshadow just like creases and disappears if I don't use this. So I love this so much. I have three mascaras in here right now. I try not to have too many mascaras open at once. So I have the L'Oreal Telescopic Carbon Black and this is a great drugstore mascara. It has a really small wand. Um, but it really, really like volumizes my lashes. It's a super like tried and true mascara. Then I have the Lancome Monsieur Big that is just so amazing. It's like very, very volumizing for your lashes. And I just love that one. And then my must have mascara is the MAC Extended Play Giga Black Lash. This is what I use on my lower lashes. And it's a really, really thin wand that just gets all your bottom lashes in one go. But it is like transfer resistant. It is amazing. So I have to have that. I have my um, Everyday Brown Eyeliner. This is the House Labs Go Diva and it's just a super dark brown pencil liner. It's awesome. And then I have my uh, Kevin Aquan eyelash curler in there as well. And then the last stuff in here are lip products. So these are products that I'm trying to use up or that I reach for like every day. So I've really been loving this NARS lip oil in Orgasm. It's just a really pretty like corally pink. It's really, really nice. The color I'm wearing today is NARS Rakugian Satin Lip Pencil. This is a long, long, long time favorite. I absolutely love this. This is a small size that I have and then I have a full size, so I'm just trying to use this as much as possible. I have the L'Oreal uh, Shining Peach. I only have this much left, so I'm trying to use that up. And I'm also trying to use up my MAC kind of sexy lipstick. This is how much I have left of that. And I've had this for a long time. And I love this color, but I only really wear it in the spring and summer. So I'm trying to use this up this year. So that is everything that's in my everyday makeup bag, you guys. So I hope you enjoyed seeing all that stuff. These are things that I really love or things that I'm just like testing out and just like having fun with. And seriously, this makeup bag is the best $14 you'll ever spend and I just think it's awesome that they brought it back finally. It looks slightly different but it's basically the same thing so I will link that down below as well as all of these products if you want to check them out and I hope you guys are all having a really awesome day. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye!